guys, what's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan, Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Uh, first things first, welcome to season five. Season five of the Daily Grind. All right, well today we are screen printing today. We're doing a one color hit, but it's gonna be two locations and a front chest and a back hit. This one's actually gonna be like a promo giveaway for the residents in. Uh, I think the resident is part of like the Hilton family brand or whatever, but we have to print it today. Um, they wanted to do uh, a burgundy-ish front. I think that's their color. Yeah, they wanted, uh, like I said, they wanted a front print and a back print. Um, just one color. It's gonna be like a burgundy-ish, reddish color. Um, I don't know, but that that should be it. Um, here's the design right here. It's pretty simple. This is the front. It says I believe, and on the bottom it says Yo Creo, Lo Creo, Yo Creo. I don't know, but I guess that says I believe in. Latin? I'm not sure. So yeah, we're gonna be printing them on these Gildan uh, 8000s. These are 8000s, I believe. Um, yeah, so ultra cotton ones. Just simple. I got a simple print, but it's two-sided, so we gotta print it twice. Um, I think I have like 30, almost 40 shirts there, so 80 hits. All right, so let's get to it, guys. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, tape up the screens. All right, so we got the the sides dammed up with the tape. Um, we're going to uh, cover the bottom part, which is the back, because we're gonna print the uh, the front first. So let's cover this up. For that, we're gonna be using the, uh, the three inch uh, PMI tape. Now I'm not sure if I already lined it up, but oh yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> All lined up, ready to go. I like putting little dog ears in the back. It's easier to pull. Okay, so our screen is ready. Let's go ahead and um, get the color, do a test print, and um, send it to the customer, make sure we get an approval before we do the, the big run there. All right, if you guys are wondering, I use these containers. It's called a uh, Surefresh. I think I got these at the dollar store. All right, so this is the maroon reddish thing that um, I mixed for them last time. Um, Hopefully, uh, <laughs> they still like it. Look, looks a little more purple, look at it. But that's very close to the residence um, in colors, I guess. So what we're gonna do is do a test print and uh, text it over to the customer. Hopefully they like it and uh, we can move on. I'm printing on a 130 mesh, if you guys are wondering. Okay, just got the approval from the customer. The color is good. We're good to go. Um, let's see. <sighs> so what I gotta do now is um, fire up the heating elements, the conveyor dryer, and the flash dryer, and we can get printing. Cause this is gonna take me at least I don't know a couple hours front and back. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and turn on this breaker here. Turn these things on. Let them heat up. Um, I still gotta wipe these things down. Still got the PMI pallet tape on here. I'm gonna wipe it down and get it retacked again. And we should be good to get. Whoops, sorry, I forgot to record. Um, I did clean off the uh, the lint off this PMI pallet tape. Once again, the only thing I do is um, get yourself some water, a spray bottle. I use this, um, the grout sponge, from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Spray it, wipe it down, and put it under the heat to reactivate the tackiness. Well look, it's pretty good now. I haven't really put it under the flash dryer yet, so it's gonna get tacky-er, I guess that's the word. It's like 11.30 now. I'm planning on printing these and dropping these off today. And it looks like um, it's raining. It's raining. Uh, I gotta get my table out of there. Ooh. You guys can see, there's the front, there's the front, there's the front. All right, we're gonna go ahead and um, flip the, um, the 
screen around and do the back uh, I have to make sure I don't want it to be like up here on the back like a like a jersey name but we're gonna go a little bit lower I think we're gonna go like four and a half to five inches down the collar I think that'll be good a good size somewhere close to the front you know somewhere close to the same um, location as the front I don't know how else to explain it to you guys but we're just gonna flip the screen around and let's get printing again Alright, we are done. So, uh, just to show you guys what we did today. Uh, this is the front. It says, I believe. And on the back, it says, Yo Creo. Creo. I think it says, I believe in... I think that's Latin. Spanish? I'm not quite sure. But, I'm done with it. I'm going to go ahead and box it up. And drop it off today. Alright guys, well that's it. Again, welcome to the Season 5 of the Daily Grind. Uh, stay tuned like and subscribe if you haven't done so and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys